What's up guys? One more video that I didn't want to make. Apparently I tied my uh, engine to the wrong mark. I don't know why but the sprockets they have two marks a dot and a line. Apparently I should tie by the line. There's this guy here and shout out to him. I'm gonna record like this because it's easier but um, it's Thomas and then uh, he has this dope Supra he made a comment and uh, of course after researching a lot and watching his channel of course he has this Supra uh, he had done something right in here and it looks super dope you guys check out his channel uh, he has a single video make a comment on this video and ask him to make more videos about his Supra man it's a uh, it's a very very nice Supra I think he's from Denmark so shout out to him he made a comment on him, my channel saying <coughs> making this uh, observation and this is my video here and that's me with the dot saying that everything is beautiful so yeah look at that that's not good So for this here, uh, we need to use a 14 millimeter, and you gotta put here, uh, pointing this way. So uh, because we need to force it that direction. So if you force this this way, you have a little play. If you are here, there's nowhere you can force this to. So in here, we're gonna force move the belt out of the way very carefully because you don't want to keep your finger between the belt and the tensioner and let the tensioner go so now we're going to take the belt out of the way this is a brand new belt and as you see here my marks are on the dots i don't know if you can see but it here is on the zero so i'm going to try to remove just the bottom part and then see if i can take it out and move it to whatever I gotta move and again do whatever I gotta do so uh, before we get started I'm gonna get where's my impact wrench I'm gonna get a I think it's 21 millimeter and I'm gonna turn this until it goes to where I want in here so I'm gonna make here two marks it's gonna be visible well the tip the yellow works. We're going to make the marks. So I'm going to paint here yellow and here yellow. Right? So I see where they are at all times. And I'm going to use down there. Where is it? It's actually a 22 millimeter. And I'm going to move this until. Those two guys are in place, so they gotta be right under here and under here. So this is perfect, and as you see down there, it's not perfect. It's my mark here is going way down here. Uh, so that's how many degrees I was off. So now I'm gonna try to use the impact wrench. nice my marks is still in place so I'm not I didn't lose that yep not at all uh, sometimes it comes off like this uh, but oh it came off there you go because I just installed otherwise you need to use those two little holes and put the the puller in here so the holes and the puller is gonna push in the middle as you tight um yeah so now that's the problem here so we need to remove all of this here the covers 
and in order to take the covers I might even need to take this pulley out of the way which is sucks but what can I do let's go for it so I'm going to start by taking uh, these bolts here actually I should start by the top but uh, I'll need to remove this cover in order to have access to these bolts in here so I can take this guy to take the uh, lower cover um, so this lower cover there is a bolt in here one in the center two on the bottom so just gotta save them and one more behind this pulley and that's the tricky one if the pulley gives me access uh, I'll take it there you go took it I'm not sure if I'll be able to pull the cover though let's see okay so those are off now I need a uh, Allen wrench in here Let's show you so it's a five millimeter allen wrench right in here so one on each side ah come right off there's one in the middle all right so now we're gonna use a 12 millimeter and take those three <clears throat> bolts out of here. There we go. Not a big deal. try to slide this out if we can then we're golden or I gotta try to do what I gotta do uh, even with that thing there so I'm gonna take the cover from the bottom and well actually I do have access to the belt right now but there is one thing I need to have access which is the tensioner which is right here so the tensioner, unfortunately, <laughs> it, once I take the belt out of there, the tensioner is going to pop up and hardly I'm going to be able to put that back in place. So I might either try to wiggle this out uh, and if I can, oh I did it, great. So alright, I need to find a way to push this guy back into place and put the pin in there if I'm able to do that then great if I'm not I don't know what I'm gonna do yet alright so now we got where we want to um, we're right here we have the belt is kind of loose so I kind of can pull this out of here and you see the white mark right in there so that mark gotta be on this dot with the belt the way it is right now on the dashes with the dashes I was aligned it was aligned with this guy here before the, the dots which is incorrect and now it's, it's going to be correct so my effort right now is going to be try to pull this out which I just did and now I should be able to put the boat back in there the big one oh, this guy turn it enough so this mark gets in here
All right, so that's one thing. I don't want to go a full revolution because I don't know where the pistons up there are right now. I know that stop that center, so I know that it should be in here. So I'm going to go back and stop right in there. That's where I want to go. See there? Dot on the line. And up there is where I was before because I didn't change. This is not straight. This is right light there. This is right here. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put you guys in here. And my task is going to be to try to put the belt right in here. So I need to be sure that this is correct. Uh, yeah, dude, everything is in there. Uh, yeah, so double check, triple check. This is in there. This is in here. Uh, yeah, it looks good. I can't move a whole teeth, um, a whole tooth, so I don't know. It just looks weird. So when I pull, that's how it's going to look. Um, so the trick part now tricky part uh, we need to get this guy and put back in place I always save this <laughs> which is a good thing uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the vise I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna try to push there's no way I can push this on my hands because with my hands because it's brand new then uh, this is what I did last time uh, I'm gonna open I did something super weird. Let me remember. Let me open this. So I'm trying to push this back in place so I can put the pin in there. And this is what I have so far. So I'm being very gentle, going slow. Uh, it has oil inside, so you pull a little bit and then push a little bit and then wait a sec and it moves a little bit so you do that pull a little bit wait for a little second do it again yep pin is there and do it again done don't need to do any more uh, and boom there you go we got this back all right so don't forget there's a little cap in here and this goes right in there keeps it clean and tight and let me take balancer out of here Now we're gonna torque those guys at 20 foot pound. So let's see. Uh oh, hang on. I moved. 20 foot pound. that's done I guess uh, what I want to do now is I'm gonna turn this twice and we're gonna see uh, if the marks stay in place and if it does we're gonna take this out and turn this twice again so let's do it center 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 so we're gonna turn And 
Okay. And that's it. This is the center. And they look great. They stop on the same spot. So what I'm going to do now, you see here, timing belt. I'm going to pull the plug. Grenade. So now everything should be tight. We're going to do the same thing. Once and twice. Center, center, center. All good. Woo! Guys, that was easier than I thought. So, this is the video I was that I made before, um, and I was timing my engine. And this is the guy, Thomas. I can't I can't say his last name Do Weber Do Weber. So check out his channel. I really appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much for uh bringing that up. And you know, first when I when I heard it, I'm trying to open your channel here. First when I heard it, I was like, "Damn, dude, I did it right." Cuz some people just criticize, you know. But then I kept every once in a while I I would keep thinking about it and it's like dude why did that guy say that thing why did that guy say that thing so I end up researching um, and dude you're right you're right so I would just waste a lot of time like putting all the pipes and my only my biggest problem would be the liquids right so the oil cooler for example I did I got to disconnect uh, power steering so I would need to move all that stuff coolant so it would be just terrible so check out his channel he has a dope supra and dude i'm gonna buy a supra and we're gonna talk about this you better you better start making videos of your supra people are gonna like it all right thanks again brother and uh let's keep going and i'm just so glad i saved this thing here which is stupid but i don't know what i would find right now to uh replace this guy so i have a little bag with uh, all this stuff that I took out of the old engine and uh, I and the other day I almost threw it away because I was like okay why am I saving this so yeah for for this so those are the tools you're gonna use <laughs> dang boy uh, I'm gonna put the rest of the car together later um, I might do the video of me installing this baby here uh, which is a drive shaft made especially for this car and because this is a four bolt drive shaft on one side we have a transmission adapter and we have a uh, differential adapter for the other side and dude that's it I really appreciate you watching this video thanks again for your help Thomas um, dude if it was not you I was just gonna waste so much time later uh, get some coolant out and dude it was gonna be so terrible so really appreciate it brother and uh, don't forget to subscribe almost done with this thing we're gonna start very very soon I might be putting uh, uh, the coolant oil and all that stuff this weekend um, ECU is coming so I'm going to start wiring and all that stuff I hope I can do that quickly and that's it make a little comment like anybody else you know like this guy helped me uh, you could help someone else you could make a comment that helped me or help someone else anyway and you know how it goes I'll see you on the next video